Film Viewers, this is Dan here uh, with another mock showcase and I call this vehicle the TTV, the Troop Transport Vehicle and uh, basically what it's for is transporting troops, it can either be in a battle uh, which this vehicle you re uh, really would not use for that uh, because it doesn't have a lot of defenses but it's really uh, for a base, uh, transporting people around the base or just in like cities where there's not a war, like just peaceful times, just transporting some troops. Uh, but anyway, let's jump right in with it. So it's a pretty basic design, uh, not too much to it, but it serves its purpose. Uh, so in the front, uh, you can see you have these slope pieces right here, and you just have a little windshield, and then you have a seat right there with a steering wheel. So uh, you can really use this for any. Lego theme, city, anything, but I'm just going to use this for Star Wars right now. Put my clone pilot in there uh, so he can drive it around. And then you just have these little supports, one here and then one in the back uh, to support the roof. Uh, so when it's raining or just to stay out of the sun, uh, the troops again here can stay under it. And it covers the majority of the vehicle, there you can see there's just little parts that poke out on the ends. And then on the back you have your little um, jet, I guess you could call it, that propels the vehicle. And so that's basically it for the whole structure, uh, the structure kind of of the vehicle. And I'm just going to put some troops, they can either stand in this white part underneath you can fit a good number of uh, minifigs on here. Just put four on there for now. Uh, so there you can see what it would look like if it's just going through the city. And you can even put uh, some like like a speeder on here if you wanted to. Or just a little command unit. I could actually do that right now. Let's see all you have to do is just fold down this take off my clones and this just fit right on like that so if you need to transport some uh, smaller vehicles you can use this so it has many uses another one is to land ships in distress now you cannot land a gunship I tried already it's it is strong enough to hold it it's just uh, the landing area is too small I didn't really want to make it bigger because it might look awkward this is a good size for the type of vehicle it is but you can land a Jedi Starfighter if uh, they're in distress and they need to make kind of like an emergency landing uh, you can just land them right on top of there really convenient for smaller ships and then there is a little turret on the top so if you do transport troops into battle you can use this turret there you can see it uh, not very complicated if you guys actually want a tutorial on how to make this, um, put in the comments. I probably will. Uh, I've made a couple other turrets that go on top of vehicles, so I might just make a tutorial with all, all of those different kind of turrets. Uh, but yeah, so there's a turret. Uh, so if they need to get rid of obstacles or take down enemy troops, they can use that for it. Uh, so that's pretty much it with this review. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out my channel for some more mock showcases. I'll have a couple coming out uh, soon because I've just built, recently built a couple of different vehicles and reviews, updates, and a bunch of other cool videos. Thanks for watching.